Hi guys, good evening, and welcome back once again to The Edward. I'm your host, Eddie, and in tonight's video, I'll be discussing what I thought of the latest and super awesome new episode of AMC's The Walking Dead. Man, this episode and last week's episode have both been on fire. Wow, man. They really aren't holding back uh, this season, and um, I love it. God, this episode was so good. I'm going to have to do a rewatch, watch these two most recent ones back-to-back, because -back, damn. All right, now, before I get into all of that with the spoilers and everything, obviously, like all of my episode reviews, if you're not caught up on The Walking Dead by this episode, which would be technically the newest one, but it's not coming out on TV till next week. Point is... Spoilers abound, so if you're not caught up, uh, don't keep watching or listening. That being said, you have been warned. Let's dive right back into it. Wow, what an episode. It was exciting, action-packed, satisfying, revealing, shocking. Everything you want in a good Walking Dead episode. And um, it was beautifully, beautifully balanced. I mean, wow. I mean, this thing was so well balanced between excitement and storytelling and gripping character moments and exciting uh, action pieces uh, regarding humans fighting humans, humans fighting walkers. I mean, I really thought our new big bad or one of our new big bads was going to be the ex-CIA creep, uh, Toby Carlson. But he actually met his end pretty quickly and I'm glad he did because that guy was a dick and oh it was satisfying to watch Aaron shoot him up and I was like oh I hope he didn't shoot him in the head and he lets him fall and uh get uh slowly eaten by the walkers that he himself put down there when he was killing all those people and sure enough it's exactly what happened and it was extremely satisfying to watch I think Aaron just shot him in the torso in several places not to kill him but just to cripple him so he couldn't get away after uh falling uh where he did so good on Aaron um, I also love the shock, you know, speaking of shocking reveals, so it turns out that woman with Negan is not just his friend, but apparently his new wife, and a for real wife, and probably as for real as Lucille was, and not like one of his wives from his old sanctuary days, and uh, she's not only his wife, but pregnant with his unborn child as well. Speaking of child, how awesome was seeing uh, Negan and Herschel in scenes together, like, I think they've seen each other before, but always at a distance. They've never had one-on-one -on -one conversations with each other. And all the shit that went down between them was very, very exciting, very cool, and really heartfelt. Because you knew where both of them were coming from exactly. Like, Herschel's clearly a smart kid. He's got his he's got both his mother and his father's brains. And he when he, as soon as Negan referred to himself as a bad man or confirmed he was, it confirmed that kid's suspicion that this is the asshole that his mother told him about about how his dad died. And sure enough, I was not surprised at all that he pulled a gun on him that quickly. I also loved how I, at first I thought Negan was getting on his knees, much like how Glenn was on his knees when he murdered him all those years ago. But it turns out he was just sitting down, but he was still at eye level with the kid. But he didn't stop him from pointing that gun at him. In fact, he almost encouraged it or told him he wouldn't blame him if he did it. I mean, Lydia got the gun away from him after Negan talked him down, but pretty intense, cool stuff. And despite... Uh, you know, their common enemy in the nasty Commonwealth soldiers, you know, there's still a lot of mistrust between Negan and Maggie, which makes it all the more interesting with the newly announced uh, Walking Dead spinoff called Isle of the Dead, which will star and feature both characters. So obviously they're both going to survive the final season and how they end up in New York together is beyond me. Will Herschel and Annie be there? I sure hope so to make for an interesting dynamic between the four of them. So I'm very excited and curious to see how that's going to come to be. But for now, I'm just as excited for the rest of the season. You know, I already liked her. I already liked Mercer when we first met him. Now I love Mercer because I knew as soon as those two soldiers started acting casual about all the other people that that prick Sebastian had sent in there to get that cash, I thought to myself, he's going to kill him. He's going to kill these two pricks. He can't kill Sebastian, so he's going to kill these, these two prick soldiers loyal to him. And sure enough, that's exactly what he did. And I say good on him because those two uh, were total assholes just like Sebastian was. Um and that was a pretty exciting sequence too. I guess I wasn't a, a little unclear about 
the money heist Sebastian storyline for this. I mean, it's great to see Daryl and Rosita in action. They're both great. But was this just to make us hate Sebastian even more? More than we already did? Because he's already a pretty hateable character. Was this supposed to make us hate him even more? Like even make, make us want him to die horribly even more? I sure should hope so. Because God, this prick is just a prick. Uh, but uh, I'm glad that Rosita and Daryl came out of it and uh, Mercer and Carol showed up because at first I thought it was Sebastian and his two soldiers who were on the other side of that door. But I was like, oh, Carol Mercer. Great. We get to see Mercer kill more walkers, which is always a highlight for me. Great. Um, so, yeah. And um, obviously, you know, the prick is satisfied at the moment, at least with all his cash. And hell, he even gave a chunk of change to Daryl. Don't know if he gave any to Rosita, but at least uh, they're still on his good side for now. Now getting back to our other bad guy in the story. And now I am referring to him as a bad guy because I do believe Lance is fully aware of Carlson's tactics that he's used to eradicate threats to the Commonwealth prior to all of this happening. And I guess... I don't think he's necessarily working with Sebastian. Maybe he is, or maybe he's just aware of Sebastian's ploys and desires, which is just to get in, uh, himself a bunch of cash since his mother cut him off. So maybe Lance was just relieved at the fact that the mission was a success in a, get, in a sense, because now that he's got the cash, he can stop sending in people to sacrifice themselves for it. But... Again, I'm a little unclear if these two are working together or if Lance is just aware of his shenanigans and was just happy to hear that people don't need to die needlessly anymore. But um, it is interesting. I really thought when he was trying to reach Toby after he had died, I, it was interesting how Aaron and Gabriel uh, just stuck to radio silence. Um, but uh, I, I'm sure that it'll come to play in the next episode or two. But I am curious now, you know, now that we got that final scene as well, showing us who is truly responsible for the hijacking of that Commonwealth wagon, which was uh, Leah, of course, the Daryl's ex-girlfriend, Leah, who took out that entire Commonwealth uh, regiment all by herself, because of course she can. Now that she's got all those guns, she's only one person. Is she going to try to get Negan's new group in the apartment complex to join her against Daryl and his people? Or has she found herself a new army at this point? We'll just have to wait and see. I'm also curious if Maggie is going to allow all the people in the, in the apartment complex, including Negan and Maggie, to come join them back at Hilltop since they can't stay there. Since the Commonwealth would just send more soldiers after them if, since they believe that they took their weapons. And it really adds to the tragedy too now that we got the confirmation that it was Leah and none of these people who lived in this apartment. Because... A lot of those people are just murdered for no good reason. Other than that, they could have been a threat to the Commonwealth. But that's what The Walking Dead is. Tragedy. You know, it's one of the many theme recurring themes, ongoing themes of this show is tragedy and the senselessness of death. Whether it's in the form of lifelong popular favorite characters or characters who we have only known from one episode and then die within that very same episode 20 minutes later so anyway great stuff though great great episode i am so excited for the rest of the season what did you guys think of it i'd love to hear your thoughts and feelings on it thank you so much for watching have an awesome rest of your day and of course until next time may the force be with you